Well, good to see you. And again, you know, when I thought of one thing after I saw this movie, I was like, if there's one person that can pull this off, the only person that can pull this off, that would be you. So kudos to you. Thank you, brother. Thank you. How do you separate the fan? Because you're a fan. You've worked with these guys for years. To director. Very hard. Very. I, I've known these guys for over 20 years. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of Ice Cube, Dr. Dre, and N.W.A. So to, to wear these different hats, and I'm friends with them. I'm the director. I'm a producer. All these things. It was tough. But it was worth it. It was worth it, but it was tough. Why do you think this story is so important to tell? Uh, because it goes beyond the music. It's, it transcends race, hip hop. It, there's you know themes that are universal. You have brotherhood, you have betrayal, you have rags to riches, you can be inspired by these guys. And I think stories like that last forever and that's why I think it's important. Well, that was another thing I wanted to bring up. I mean, these things of course happened you know, in the 90s, but it's so appropriate, I think, for stuff that's happening in our own community now. It's still going on. Yeah. You know, things that the NWA addressed, that these guys did. I mean, is that something you hope people walk away with? I hope people are inspired across the board. You know, I hope they do better in all realms that we, 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 we tend to visit in this movie. You know, whether it be music or business or friendship, family, but also law enforcement, man. You know, there's, there's, there's room for change in the culture and law enforcement. And we touch on it a little bit in this movie as well. I was going to call BS on some stuff because I, I was a part of this. You know, I, I was at Power 106 when these records were getting played. I played these songs on the radio. Okay. I had friends that worked at Priority. I knew some of the stories that were going on. I was just really blown away how raw you left the film. Mm. Were there things that you said, we can't go there? Or I don't, you pretty much put everything in there. Or were there things that you were concerned about? There's or? so many stories. There's so many things. You could make five movies out of this story. I think we got it right. We focused on the right things with this movie. Um, but yeah, I think I, th I think we got it right. You've worked with Cube, obviously, you know, before in the past, but what was it like to direct, you know, his story now this time? Because other films that you've done, you know, you've had some fun with, but this is this is a story of his life. Well, yeah. it was personal because of my personal, personal connection with Cube, and we've created together over, you know, 20 years. And so uh, between that relationship creatively and the relationship outside of the movies, and how significant their story is in history, American history, it was just important to get it right. Um, and it was a challenge and a lot of pressure, but um, we had a great team, man, and I think we, we hit it. Um, you know, you have been a part of this history as well, and were there things that you looked back on when you were doing, working on the film and you said, oh, okay, I do remember that? Oh, yeah, when we, when we, when we touch on Friday, <laughs> you know, we touch on the movie Friday and we touch on, uh, do you remember where you were when you heard Boys in the Hood? You know, it was just so many moments in this movie where either I was there for part of it, at least the, the last half of it, and, you know, I remember where I was when they, they, you know, started. So it's just a great ride, man. I loved it.